boys and girls. Today we're doing part two of our split numbers to multiply series. Our learning target is I can split numbers into parts that are easier for me to multiply. So last week we learned that you can split up numbers to make them easier to multiply. And this week we're going to keep practicing with that idea. So this is gonna be our anchor problem for the next few slides. Here it is. We're gonna use different ways to break apart one of the numbers to solve this problem. Mario has six vases of flowers. There are four flowers in each vase. How many flowers does Mario have in all? Break apart one of the numbers to find the answer. Now I wrote us an equation for that situation down below. Since he has equal groups of flowers in each vase, we know that this can be a multiplication equation. We also know it's multiplication or addition because it's talking about how many he has in all. We're counting the whole group. He isn't giving anything away or getting rid of anything. So our equation that we're gonna anchor our thinking in is six times four. Six vases with four flowers in each vase. So we can picture it thinking about equal groups. Now, when Mario solved this problem, he chose to break apart the number of groups to find the answer. So instead of thinking six times four, he's thinking about breaking the six into four vases here and two vases there. You could also use an array to help understand what's going on in the problem. Here's the original six groups. You can see six rows with four flowers in each row, four flowers in each vase. So we have an array of six times four. And Mario's going to break that six into a group of four and a group of two. Just like he did on the last picture, but this one shows it with arrays if you prefer to see it that way. You could also think of this in word form if that helps you understand. Six vases of four flowers is the same as four vases of four flowers and two vases of two flowers. So that was the sentence version of saying, here's the four vases with four flowers and here's the two vases with, two, <laughs> with four flowers in them as well. We didn't get rid of any vases or change the number, so they will have the same answer as six times four. Okay, so I said it a moment ago, but let's start with this part of our thinking. When Mario broke the six in six times four, what were the friendlier numbers he broke it into? The trick with this strategy is breaking one of the numbers into numbers that are easier for you to multiply. Do you remember? He broke the six into a four and a two. So he, instead of looking at all six vases as one group, he's looking at them as a group of four and a group of two. And here it is in the arrays. Instead of six times four, he would rather think about it as four times four and two times four. And there, it is, there are the multiplication equations. It used to be six times four for the whole picture, but when he broke it, he has two friendlier equations for his brain, four times four and four times two. You can see that in either drawing. But Mario's way of breaking up the six wasn't the only way to do it. Can you think of any other ways we could break six into friendlier numbers to multiply? We're not changing the number of flowers in each vase, but perhaps you would organize it differently. Instead of breaking the six into a four and a two, how would you break it? Pause the video if you need more time, but I'm gonna keep going now. There's more than one way you could have done it, you could have thought about the six as two groups of three. That would give you three times four and three times four. You could have also thought about it as a group of just one and a group of five. Five times four for these flowers 
and 1 times 4 for the leftover group. Really, whichever way you break it, if you did it like Mario, if you did with threes, a 3 and a 3, or with a 1 and a 5, it doesn't matter because in the end you're going to get the same answer no matter which one you choose. It's just about choosing the one that's friendliest to your brain, the one that uses the, strat the equations that you know. He could have even left the 6 in 6 times 4 alone and broken the 4 instead. Imagine he would leave the 6, but he could break the 4 into two twos. That would give him this equation. The 6 is still there, but now he's doing 6 times 2 and 6 times 2 and then adding them together. Or he could have broken the 4 into a 3 and a 1. Oops, that's a typo. So he would have 6 times 3 and 6 times 1. There are lots of different ways Mario could have solved this problem and they all would work because you're not changing the number of bases or changing the number of flowers. You're just organizing them differently. Okay, let's wrap this up with a thinking question. This will be the first question in your jam assignment for today. So you can show your thinking to me. What are two different ways you could break apart the numbers to solve four times three? A different equation than what Mario was doing. Two different, different, <laughs> two different equations you could use to solve four times three. If it helps, you can also draw a picture the way Mario did with the flower vases. Your job for this question is to write equations to show your thinking. I'll walk you through the beginning of it. If you're going to do 4 times 3 and break apart one of the numbers to make it friendlier, first you have to decide which number you're going to break. Are you going to break the 4 or are you going to break the 3? Either way will work. Once you've made that decision, then you write your multiplication and adding equation. That's one way to solve it, but then you're going to have to go back and do it a different way. Maybe you're going to break the other number the second time. It's up to you. I'm excited to see what you come up with. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.